I'm trying to insulate this place and this tiny little bird called a wren is turning out to be a massive spanner in the works. It's just turned spring and those of you who watch or regulars from last year, I had a nightmare with loads of birds nesting inside. But this year it shouldn't be a problem because I've got all the doors and windows in. Just over here, you probably can't see it. I'll show you a close up. There's quite a few flyers and ladybirds. Now that's because this place isn't quite wind and, well, I say it's water tight, it's not wind tight. As in, there's little gaps here and there. Can you see just up there, there's a little bit of daylight just there. So I've been in here quite a lot and there's this little wren that pops in. Quite clever, gets in, in the first place and then goes and picks off them flies. Now that's a good thing because there was like hundreds of flies there before but that's just highlighted the fact that I've got a chink in the armour and I need to address that before the birds start nesting. So it's something I was looking to address at a later date. There's a small gap just up there. You see where the bricks finished in between that and the soffit. I need to get like a fillet of timber and put it all the way across. Right out the top there, there's a gap there as well. I've just taken all that bloody scaffold down and I need to put it back up. That will be fine eventually because that's going to be clad. There's a gap up there, it's not as big. That was going to be clad. This, if there's any gap, it's going to be rendered. There's a gap just at the top of this ladder. That's going to be uh, clad. Now the, the little wrens, they're called the king of birds. Did you know that? It's a little folklore tale. Let's see that gap. I don't think a bird will fit through that, but I think what's happening, if I go up one step, this is like the roof, yeah? I've got bird comb here. There is like little foam bits here and it's been, it's been missed out right at the end. So I think what's happening maybe is a bird like goes over there and then it goes in between the high performance felt and the breather membrane. So I'm inside now and you can see, you see that just there? So it could, it could actually squeeze through. So lack of attention to detail. Uh, it seems to be the same on most corners that I've got. Up here, it's just missing a slight bit of uh, that bird stuff. So I need to tackle that. Um, obviously the insect issue, that's, that's gonna cancel it. It's not, probably not a good idea that I've got them little gaps up top. I'm not going to clad this year. I don't think I'll get anywhere near it. That's probably going to be next year. Um, unless I proper pull it out of the bag. So I'm going to have to put a, like, a timber up there, I reckon. I was supposed to have made two nest boxes already as part of my planning permission conditions. So I'm going to crack them out as well. Not the most ideal solution, but I think I'm just going to go with a bit of spray foam. Now, of course, this is going to be the wrong colour, but I reckon I could probably just spray it black afterwards. Do you make me right? And you won't notice. <laughs> I think that gap under there, the soffit, it's only about what less than 15 mil wide over there and it only runs about 600 long i'm just going to spray this from the inside rather than put a tin filler up there for now the fuck i just got this on my jeans it's very strange because uh wrens they're like uk's most common bird i've never actually seen one until now or maybe i just didn't pay attention to it and the reason why they're called the king of all birds because there was a story about the birds deciding who was going to be king and they decided between them whoever was going to fly the highest would be king and the eagle thought it was going to win but the crafty little wren it jumped on its back and so even though the eagle thought it flew the highest the wren was on top of him so he was king am i going to get the gun in here Nope. You know when you get to a point where perfectionism just goes out the window, 
not the best solution but it is certainly the bloody quickest I mean eventually this won't ever be seen anyway so it's just going to be a pain in the ass if I ever really need to do these redo these soffits I'm probably going to be stuck and they are wooden soffits so by that point you just probably go over the top of the plastic eh? I'm taking a risk bollocks yeah I just need to get it done it needs to I will cover it up eventually, I promise. Oh, it pains me, it pains me to budget. That bit was quite fat up there, that was 30 mil, definitely. That's definitely where the little um, rem was getting through. Um, or one of the entrances at least. I've done that corner, I've done most corners. Um, there's no fucking way, I can't get up there. How am I meant to get up there? <laughs> I really, do you know what I need? A, a cherry picker. Because I need to do that corner out there as well. I don't think I can get to that one. That's quite far. I haven't got an extending ladder. Well, I've got the roof ladder. I don't think it extends that far. Um, I'm going to have to get my scaffold back out to do that top bit. That will have to be timber fillets. I also can't reach that corner up there. Hmm. I was trying to get this in black. You can get it for, they use it for ponds, I think, but it's ridiculously expensive. So I thought, oh, fuck it. I'll just do, I had a bit of a brainwave. I'll do it in this and then I'll spray it black afterwards. Right, this just might work. Or you're just about to see me break my legs. Is that gonna be strong enough? I fucking hope to God. Oh shit. This fit this bit feels like it's gonna just collapse and chop my toes off. Fucking spray foam. Bollocks. Okay, I'm recording just in case that goes wrong. <laughs> I've only got one outrigger on. Which is what I normally do with this tower. It's not as if I'm going to be doing too much work up here. But it is a bit rickety. Don't particularly enjoy it. to go this high. Uh. I've checked that corner and it looked fine and yet I've just seen a bird fly into the corner up there. <laughs> Motherfucker. Anyway, so Look at look how big that gap is over there. So I'm just wanting to deal with this later, but obviously I can't. It might be just right at the bloody end or something. Let's see if we can scare it out. It looks like it's roasting there for the night. I think what I'll do is I might pull the scaffold round tomorrow, and put it here. There must just be a small gap at the end that I couldn't see off this ladder, like bending backwards. Right, this isn't going too well at the moment. The rem was in again this morning. I found one more place that it might be getting in, but I'm not too sure. I'm j I've just climbed up. I set my scaffold up to get to this corner that I couldn't get before. I'll show you around here. So it might have gone in there, but there's all that shit there. So it might have just been sitting in the corner. I don't really understand. I'm gonna spray that little corner up in there and in here just in case. 
and then that bit down there I heard a bird having a go at that this morning but it couldn't get in there's a pheasant can you see that I almost ran over a peacock this morning as well <laughs> why can't I right uh, has anyone tried the hawks on a pole can you tell me if they work I don't like the look of that in that one over there I'm going to try it, see if I can just tidy it up a little bit with a blade and then I'll spray it black, we'll see what it looks like. <laughs> How's it getting in? There is a big gap over there in that corner, I'll show you in a second. Yeah, there's a big gap. <laughs> I mean, it seems a bit stupid that I'm filling it up because I'm supposed to do, I'm supposed to provide bird's nests. But, uh, even if you got in there, how's it getting through my felt? My, my breathing membrane, how's it getting through? Is it actually crawling up the laps? There's no way it might just be up there. I can see a big gap just below the soffit. Okay, do not try this at home, kids. I will show you what the ladder is on. <laughs> it's not, not, not in the best place. I have no choice at the moment. So I think what's happening is the bird gets in. It's in the cavity, hops over the other side. There's no more. Oh, this is my roofing ladder. I took the thing off. Well, that looks all right. So you would never know. I'm just going to go around and paint the foam that I sprayed yesterday black. And then uh, then I'll make the bird boxes. Do you know, I'm supposed to be insulating inside. I keep on finding little stupid things like this. There's a missing bolt here. This, uh, this was flapping a little bit. <laughs> well, it would have been in higher winds. And I've, there's one down there as well. Didn't even see that before. <laughs> and I'm missing one there as well. See, they come in pairs. You can see across the roof. But if I don't do it now, whilst I know, well, so I remember, I'll forget about it, and then next thing you know, I'll have like 100 mile an hour wind, and it'll rip, rip my roof off or something. I'll pop that in, and then, can you see my windows? Because the state of that, that needs proper cleaning, doesn't it? But I'll make the nest boxes first, then I'll get up here and clean them. You'll laugh at this, what I'm doing at the moment, especially in next week's video. You'll understand when you see it. I also need to kill all the lifts down here. <laughs> uh, I need to do it soon as well before it gets out of control. Um, and I need to cut the grass on the field before I let the cats out. They'll be let out soon. See, I just got... Uh, too, many, too many plates, too many plates. There we go. Okay, that this one's for tits. Uh, this one's for wrens and robins. Probably tits anyway. There's there's a few tits around here. Shit. <laughs> it's quite strong. Apparently you're supposed to face um, even north or east. Uh, that is south. So this one is facing east, so it'll just get the morning sun. It's just to make sure it doesn't get too hot. 
it's covered by the the roof anyway and this one i know it's it is west facing but it is covered under it'll get a little bit of sun maybe it'll be fine it'll be fine 